Hello, I'm Austin Jarrett from Alec Mowers. Uh, today we want to take a look at these two products. These are the Liberty 43 and the Liberty 35. And I would like to just do a comparison to answer many of your questions as to which one should I buy. The Liberty product range has now been sold for about four years. I think this is the fourth season. And this electrical drive, battery electrical drive, has just become our most popular system. Why do the customers love it? Firstly, if you compare it with a mains electric machine, it's cordless. We're not having to mow with a cord behind us, worrying about cutting it while we're trying to keep our straight lines. Finding extension lead points, taking them down the length of the garden. They're quiet. That might be a benefit to your neighbours, but of course, when do I choose to go and mow my lawn might be limited by the amount of noise that I make. They're clean, they're emission free. There are no engine issues. And when we look at our engines on, on our engine products, of course, they do actually cause more problems in terms of maintenance and reliability than anything else. Suddenly you go battery electric and all those issues just disappear. It becomes an electrical appliance, not a piece of garden machinery. If you have trouble recoil starting the engines, of course, that just disappears too. Um, and what we can do is we can actually remove the battery out of these products as well and pop them into blowers and strimmers and other products from the Greenworks battery range. So when we're comparing and trying to choose between a Liberty 43 and a Liberty 35, first let's look at the similarities between the two machines. First, 40 volt drive system, 40 volt battery, 4 amp power, comes as standard with the bundle products and I just simply lift and insert the battery and that's the same with both of these products. Exactly the same power drive, exactly the same amount of energy in the battery. They're both self-propelled by using the real bail bar on both of these machines. The battery energy drives the rear roller so there's no pushing unless you choose to do so. There are six speeds. I have a dial on the controller here and I can choose where it is that I want to go in terms of the forward speed and also the cylinder speed. The chassis are very similar. One obviously is wider than the other uh, and they both mow between six millimeters and 32 millimeters. The battery takes the same amount of time to charge for the same battery at about an hour and a half. Push button controls, push and pull, engage the drive, exactly the same on both. And both of these products take the Scarifier cartridge, although the Liberty 43, as we'll be looking at later, takes a wider range of cartridges. The prices of the products, of course, this machine is more expensive than the Liberty 35 and you're looking at of course this is about 80% of the width and you'll find that actually this one is more likely about 70% uh, of the cost. The purpose of this video is to talk about the differences between these two products. I think pr probably the first and the most obvious is the Liberty uh, 35 is a 14 inch or 35 centimetres wide machine and the Liberty 43 is a 17 inch machine, 43 centimetres. So what does that mean? In terms of the area that you can mow, it's a 3 inch difference. Uh, we've just done a time trial because we really wanted to verify our numbers and we've marked out 100 square metres and we timed how long it took to mow with each product. The 14 inch product took us 9 minutes to mow 100 metres and it might surprise you to know that the 43 took 8 minutes to mow 100 square metres. So the effect of that is that if I say a reasonable time for mowing the lawn at half an hour, uh, then in half an hour with this product, including emptying the grass box out, uh, will cover about 330 square metres. And in half an hour with this product, 
I can cover 375 square metres. For me, the width isn't all just about how quickly can I mow my lawn, but how does a stripe sit on the lawn? A wider stripe sometimes looks, depending on the shape of the lawn, the wider the stripe, the more prestige it actually looks. And a narrow stripe, I call it corduroy, if the stripes are just too many across the whole lawn and too narrow. The Liberty 35 weighs in at just 26 and a half kilos. The Liberty 43 is 38 and a half kilos. So there's quite a big difference in the weight. This one is relatively easy to pick up. This one starts to become a bit more difficult. What does that mean though in terms of mowing? The heavier, more expensive machine will leave a stronger and longer lasting stripe. And that is another really important consideration when you're buying a cylinder mower, I think. Let's start at the front of the machines as well. We've put the grass boxes on and the smaller Liberty 35 has a small grass box at 32 litres. Uh, you can see how it sits on and rests on a cradle like so. It has a handle incorporated into the end and I quite like the way that this makes it easier to empty into the grass box because there's no edge on this grass box. On the heavier machine we've got a much more robust box a much more positive handle grip and this grass box comes in at nearly twice the capacity at, at 62 litres. Now let's talk about the cutting end. The, the reason that you're buying one of these two products is because of the cutting cylinder and the cutting action. We know that a cutting cylinder, a cylinder mower, cuts like a pair of scissors and cuts really cleanly. So I normally illustrate that just by taking a piece of paper and inserting that into the cylinder just to demonstrate that. Both of these, these machines cut in exactly the same way. Uh, the cylinder cuts against the bottom blade and gives an extremely clean cut, giving great plant health. But the difference between the two machines is this one has a five bladed cylinder, this one has a six bladed cylinder. And that just gives a slightly higher clip rate to give a slightly finer finish. If I'm mowing really low, then that fine finish is important and actually a six bladed cylinder isn't enough. And below setting two, below 15 millimeters height of cut, then I would choose to put the 10 bladed cylinder into this machine in order to give a finer cut with no washboarding. Next, let's look at the front roller. On the Liberty 35, we have a plastic front roller. Uh, and on the Liberty 43, we have a steel front roller. It's galvanized and there are bearings at each end as well. So that just makes that a, a longer lasting, more robust uh, roller. What we get in the box with the Liberty 43 too is a pair of wheels. And sometimes with a cylinder mower, you have difficulty mowing long grass shorter. A cylinder mower is about mowing short grass shorter. And the long grass is laid down by the front roller before the cylinder has an opportunity to cut it. And by putting these front wheels on, in place of the front roller, either side like so, uh, and they bolt into the same uh, height control frame as the roller does, we take the roller off and that just leaves a very clear throat there so that the grass can be feed straight into the cylinder without any disturbance or rolling over by the front roller. 
One other important feature, which I really like on the Liberty 43, is the turf rake. The turf rake fits just behind the front roller, and when we've got our grass under control, we're mowing regularly, it's really great to have that raking effect just, at, just after the front roller, so it brings all the grass into line. This does two things. It, the grasses that are growing in different directions, including some of the weed grasses, are disturbed and stood upright before the cylinder can cut them, which is great. Uh, the other thing that it does is it lines all the grass plants up. And by doing that, it just makes for even stronger striping because the grasses and striping is all about getting the grass entirely uniform and laid in the same direction. The height of cut on both of these machines is altered by lifting and lowering of the front roller. They both adjust from 6mm, the very lowest height of cut, up to 32mm, so the range is exactly the same. But how that is achieved is slightly different. The Liberty 35 has a dial on the side here and that by pushing that in and turning I have a series of steps and I adjust the height of cut in those steps in order to achieve the varying heights of cut. So between 6mm and 32mm this machine will give you a choice of 6, 9, 13, 18, 25 or finally 32. So the range is good uh, but we do have a limitation of just the steps. On the Liberty 43 we have a slightly more sophisticated system. I have indication on the side here of what height I'm at but by lifting and lowering the rear roller now by a screw threaded adjuster here at the rear which is really convenient to reach to if I want to adjust as I'm mowing the lawn and by rotating this I've got a detent click and an indicator at the side. And what this does is allow me to choose any height in between 6 millimeters and 32. And this is particularly important because I can fit in the steel bladed cartridges into this machine and the choice of the height of cut or the depth of cut in that case is absolutely critical. Both machines sit primarily on the rear roller. The rear roller drives the machine forward but of course, importantly, this heavy steer roller presses the grass down and rolls it in the direction that, which gives us the extremely strong striping that you expect from an Allen mower. On the 14-inch machine, the Liberty 35, it is a single rear roller. On the more sophisticated Liberty 43, this roller now is wider, of course, at 17 inches wide. And what we've chosen to do is to split that roller in two because if the roller becomes too wide, it resists turning and also causes scuffing when we turn sharply at the end of the run. So we've split that in two and built a differential system in there so that the motor drives both sides of the roller. But at the same time, what I'm able to do is to straight line really easily and when I turn at the end I don't get scuffing because these rollers are able to travel at separate speeds. So the handlebars are basically both the same height on these. I do have two positions that I can adjust these to to change the height and I actually have a choice of three positions on the Liberty 43. The power control is exactly the same, six position, two stage safety on off. The bail bars are ever so slightly more comfortable on the Liberty 43 and just a six millimeter diameter bar on the Liberty 35. I also get a little bit of extra padding, maybe first, first thing in the morning this is a little bit warmer. Both handlebars fold up in the same way in order to help for storage like so. The great thing about these machines is that you are able to remove the cylinders as a cartridge and you can then take those for servicing without having to take the whole machine. Having removed the cylinder cartridge though, what you're able to do is to insert an alternative. 
On this model, we recommend that you take our scarifier cartridge, a springtime cartridge, which agitates the ground, picks up debris and removes thatch and moss. Really does increase the versatility of this machine. We get asked the question all the time is, can I fit the other 14 inch cartridges from the Kensington range into this product? We promote the scarifier cartridge because it is it is so simple and it is so easy to use. You can fit the other cartridges, the other 14 inch cartridges into this machine, but I must make you aware of one thing and that is to do with the height of cut control which we've just looked at. The steps that take it from 6 millimetres to 9 millimetres to 13 millimetres are quite big steps and it does mean that with the steel bladed cultivation cartridges like this Verticut you're either going to saw too deep or not saw deep enough. So we don't generally recommend the other cartridges to go into this machine but we do recommend them to go into this machine where we have this completely screw thread adjustment throughout the range from 6 millimetres to 32. To change the cartridge over as well, with this machine it is slightly less straightforward. This is a, when you remove the guard with the Allen key provided, you can see here that it's actually direct belt drive and we do just need to flip the belt off the pulley in order to then remove the pulley to take the cartridge out. With the Liberty 43, it has our real quick change system on it. Again, if I remove the guard, four studs which are retained, I then have the gear drive. And that gear drive allows me, once I've removed the two screws from either side here, that I can then very quickly remove this cartridge. And then using the gear drive on this, I can insert this one and then I can do the screws up again. So this is a lot quicker with this system because of the gear engagement drive system. So in conclusion, I hope that overview has really helped you. The battery power is fantastic in these products. It gives you enough mowing time and all the quietness and understanding that I'm doing a little, my little bit for the environment I really enjoy. But between the two products when it comes to choose between the 35 and the 43, do remember just the main points. Um, obviously there's the width, there is 17 inches versus 14 inches and that might give you more uh, of a problem in terms of access through doorways, through paths. The machine is heavier, that might be a problem because you've got to pick this one up and carry it up steps in your garden, but generally the slightly heavier weight gives a much better stripe. The clip rate is slightly higher with the cylinder in on this machine than it is on this machine which gives a slightly finer finish. The height of cut mechanism is a real difference in my opinion. This is a bit click click click, I don't have a lot of choice, this one is just so fine and so precise and when that comes to fitting cartridges such as the Verticut steel bladed cartridge I need to get the depth of that exactly right and that allows me to achieve that. And the other thing I have on this product is the grass rake as well and I do like that just to line up all the grass and make the stripe a little bit stronger and it does every time I mow just give my weed grasses a little bit of a harder time, the ones that lie flat, you know them, and that just makes them stand up a little bit more and keeps them clipped so they're less likely to spread. So I hope that gives you a great overview and from there you're able to make your choice as to whether it's worth spending just that little bit more money on the Liberty 43. Thanks very much for listening. You can find all details of these products on our website at www.allit.co.uk.